All right, good morning. So I've been meaning to make a video on this for quite some time, but this is a uh, a Kaku, K-A-K-U, Kahana. It's a um, hybrid kayak setup. So it's uh, like a paddle board, but uh, not at the same time. It's uh, it's not a paddle board. It's regarded as the ultimate fishing rig for uh, fishing in like you know bays river systems uh, those little nooks where you need to get in there and um, these are pretty cool because of the stability regarded as a very stable rig but um, keels that's what I want to say it is one two three three keels so this thing uh, apparently treks really good and I have not tested it out I bought it Bought it from a gentleman not too long ago, um, probably like three or four months ago, and um, he hooked it up with all uh, the stuff, the original seat that you would get with it, and originally this was a, uh, I think this was $700, retailed for about $700, $800, um, so um, I picked it up for a couple hundred bucks, which is nice, and uh I'm excited to take it out and, and uh, I guess give my uh, first impressions of it, but uh, I'm excited. So let's get it tossed on the SUV. All right, so we're all loaded up. Just put a little rubber mat and a little bit of cardboard down on top of the SUV. Let's uh, run on down there to the water. All right, we're gonna get started and push up the slow current areas and try and have a little bit of fun today. Well, one thing right off the bat, I'm gonna need something to keep dry. And you can see they have a nice little gasket around the rim of this lid. And inside is quote unquote a dry bag. And there's the hole. Let's see, there's something in here. Looks like one extra, like a pull handle for pulling the kayak. We're gonna need that. We're gonna pull it upstream. So far the hole is dry and uh, our plugs, there's plug on the front and I think there's a plug on the back. But I'm going to go ahead and toss my little dry bags with my car keys. And uh, I'll toss my phone in there in a minute, I, I guess. We'll see. Let's go ahead and secure this guy to the rear. Isn't this just beautiful? I got this RV park right here underneath the bridge. And you can't beat it. Pretty, pretty. But we're talking about the Kaku. And uh, I have to admit, um, just got started, but lots of fun. Um, you know, it's kind of nice. You can toss your feet out in front of you, however you feel. Let's go ahead and hike up river real quick. See how it does up there. All right, so we just went ahead and paddled up this little stretch of uh, current. Um, managed to cut cut through it pretty decent with the uh, with the Kahanu. So um, I'm gonna push up and uh, and walk a little stretch of the river here and um, see if I can't get some more experience with it. But so far so good. You know, the stability is uh, is you know pretty decent. Um, uh, much better than you know a standard kayak for sure um, and I'm a pretty big guy you know I'm 230 pounds six foot two and uh, I'm still trying to get used to standing up on this thing but um, you know there's people that will walk out to here and have a good center of balance and you know it's uh, apparently really good for that but um, we'll find out we will find out let's keep trekking Looks like somebody got their tube lost, but I got stood up, 
and I found a balancing point for my big rear end right here. Um, didn't feel like I was in that weight range where I could go to the front of the board. So being 230 pounds, I'm comfortable within this range where I can stand up. And I've seen some guys on, you know, Google images where they've actually put like a little angle cooler on top and they'll strap it down and it'll be, you know, a good 25 inches in width and, and they're standing up on top of it. So um, this seat's super nice though. I'm one of those guys that suffers from back fatigue. A lot of people do. And um, this is a rig that really gets you up and out of the, you know, out of the hole and puts you on top where you have that, you have that, you know, I guess that vertical advantage. So um, this is a great rig for fly fishing off of because the ability to stand up, you know, you can, you know, especially if you're under, if you're under 230 pounds, you probably, you know, going to be able to get into that spot, that sweet spot where you can stand up here without bringing on too much water. But with me being a pretty big, uh, hefty guy, I got to keep it somewhat centered but uh but i did uh manage to stand up and and i paddled for a good 40 yards standing up i took a little break here on this there's a little island out here in the middle of the river but um but no this kaku super cool um it has a uh, an already built-in ability to put one of those uh sticks those little you know um it's kind of like an anchor but it's like a little anchor stick attachment and you put it on the back i forget what they call those but you just jab them down and um it's great for you know bay fishing um right now i just have this crappy little milk crate that was free with some uh, pvc pipe you know bolted to the side for a couple rods but i really just wanted to get out here and and test this out and uh you know Make sure it wasn't leaking any water inside the hole. Um, so far, so good. You know, we've only been out here for a good 30 minutes, but um, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. I'll uh, hopefully get back to the boat ramp, make it through the currents, and uh, we'll ho hopefully do some more videos on this guy. But I'm excited. ahead and drop my rear end down here just uh floating along in the current nice and slow for now speeds up a bit up there so got to get ready Still getting used to it. made it back and uh overall i'm pretty pleased i enjoyed a peaceful beautiful morning for a good hour out there on the water and uh this kaku is uh definitely my most comfortable rig i've ever been on and i've tested out a lot of kayaks a lot of cheap ones uh, so my comparison pool is not very great but um, I got a buddy who has a Hobie and I was going to test that out hopefully soon and uh, do some fishing videos with this thing. So I'm excited to test it out, but boom.